Okay guys, coming up next, I'm so excited to introduce you to a new fragrance house. It's new in the last couple years, basically since COVID. And it's so cool, I met the owner, the founder of the company, Zernel Gilly, and he has three perfumes. I'm gonna tell you about each one. Met him a couple weeks ago here in Miami, and I am so stoked because these are really cool fragrances, niche fragrances that I think you guys should try. Find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And as you saw, I'm gonna introduce you guys today, as I like to do here on my channel, to a new fragrance house. This is a niche house, by the way, just to give you a little background, the owner and the name of the brand is called Zernel Gilly. And he is a DJ by trade. Uh, and has been a DJ since the 80s from Chicago. He now lives in LA, but world-renowned DJ. Travels the world, uh, goes to Europe, all over the place, has residencies, and, and the guy is just a really cool guy. I met him for the first time a couple weeks ago. And we were just chilling, talking fragrances, and he busted out his three that he has. He's actually working on a new one now, uh, which will be out in a few months. But I, I tried the uh, one of the samples or one of the ones that may be the final, uh, you know, the final juice. But he, I think he's going to tweak it a little bit more. But that's a whole nother uh, and whole nother topic. I'll go into that when it comes out. This fragrance that I'm going to talk about today, and my camera seems to be, I'm sorry, like just bothering me a little bit here. Um, so the fragrance that, fragrances I'm gonna talk about today in order of the ones as they came out over the last couple of years. Again, basically uh, Zernel was telling me, you know, during COVID, you know, all his DJ games were essentially cut. Everything was shut down. So he had to figure out, okay, what am I gonna do? He's been a fragrance collector for years, a niche fragrance collector for years. So this was one of his passions besides music. So he decided to create a brand that's based on the two. So each fragrance that comes out is based on a genre of music. And he started out with his very first fragrance, which is disco. And disco is because this was the first genre he learned to DJ in the early and mid eighties. So there's such a great backstory here. I love when a fragrance has the passion of the owner of the brand behind something that is passionate to them. It's not like they just created a fragrance to make money or because they think it's a profitable business. He lives and breathes fragrance and music and he's combined the two in a really excellent way. So the first one I have here is, again, let me show you the bottle. This is Disco. And first of all, I love the simple, clean lines, the, the, uh, the black lettering. In this case, you're gonna see each one is a little bit different, but just simple, clean, 30 ml bottles. Each one of his first three fragrances, by the way, are extraits. And not only are they extraits, but they're approximately around 50% extraits. So this is serious juice, serious oil in these bottles. Uh, so you don't need a ton. It will last you a while. And you've heard me talk about 30 ml bottles before. I did my last release, Deco Noir, as a 30 ml bottle. They're my personal favorite because you get to get go through them. You just don't have all these 100 ml bottles sitting up, wasting away, never getting used. And since he travels a lot, and he travels a lot internationally for his DJ gigs, these fit perfectly in the bags. And I've said that before, great for travel. Whenever I go anywhere, I tend to just pick up my 30 ml bottles and put them in my dop kit. So again, just give me a little background so you know more about this fragrance house. But Disco was his very first release. And this is a fragrance that has, and by the way, he's put the magnetic cap on here so you have that uh, cool little feature $110 all fragrances $110 more than a fair price for a niche extrait cool indie fragrance so just again getting that out there now so disco look at the color of the juice it's kind of a golden light yellow this is bergamot lavender jasmine grapefruit saffron cardamom tea tobacco, amber, cedar, myrrh, patchouli, and vanilla. <laughs> Who doesn't like those notes, right? And uh, when, you, when, I, when I first smelled this, and I smelled all these fragrances a few weeks ago, 
before I got the bottles. And I, you know, Disco to me was, okay, this is a great initial release. It's, it's got this kind of fresh feel to it, that grapefruit feel. So I think this is a great fragrance to kind of launch a brand with as he was doing. Um, it, it's just, it's got that vibrancy. It's got that energy that I think perfectly suits the disco genre. Makes you want to kind of get up and start dancing a little disco. I don't know, a little Saturday Night Fever maybe. So disco, again, I put this on my skin. I've worn it a bunch of times and all these fragrances I get, I get on my skin over 10 hours. Again, this is a, a straight, so it's gonna last you. But the notes again that really stick out to me initially, the, the grapefruit and then also the tea and the tobacco, such a cool mix. Uh, I love tea fragrances, I love tobacco fragrances. So this has got a unique feel to it. Um, I think this is a very niche fragrance. Even though it's a kind of fresh fragrance, I like what he did here. He kind of came out with something that's like, okay, this is not gonna be over the top, um, you know, I don't wanna say designer, but more towards designer in. He went more towards, okay, I'm gonna create something that is well blended, that is in the middle between a designer and niche fragrance. That leads to the second fragrance, which, by the way, of the three is my personal favorite, and this came out next, and this is Techno. Take a look at Techno. So you can see the juice. Let me just see over there. Very similar, a little bit more of a green, uh, a green look to that one. And I, I gotta say, like, let me just pull something up here. Okay, yeah, so Techno, of the three is my personal. To me, this is the most niche. Uh, I think Disco is is kind of like a good mix. And then Techno is, man, this is just great on my skin. It's so cool, so unique. It also has bergamot at the top, so it gives you a little bit of that citrus. And by the way, you can see the, the red lettering on this one. That's cool. But it also has this, this note of what he lists as red fruits. And that is what stands out to me. This is like a very red fruit fragrance, almost kind of, I don't know if it's passion fruit. I don't know if passion fruit's really red, I guess it is. Um, it's got suede, it's also got patchouli, lavender, tonka bean, leather, amber, so there's some similar notes going on here, uh, incense. But that initial blast of bergamot, and, <clears throat> excuse me, pink pepper, and those red fruits really make this one stand out. So if you wanna wear something from this house where he went really kind of further into the niche side, which I appreciate and I like that he did this as he is a niche fragrance connoisseur. Techno is the one, and this is gonna make you stand out really unique. Um, by the way, I've sprayed this a number of times to a lot of people, and my friends who are more niche fragrance lovers like myself also were attracted to Techno of the three. Okay, so I think there's something for everyone here. I like, again, what he's doing here. He's creating something for everyone. And lastly, let me get to his newest release, which is hip hop. So again, he's kind of going into different genres that he has been DJing for, for, I don't know, it's going on 40 years now. Yeah, 40 years. Uh, this is hip hop, take a look. I love the coloring again. And look at the clear juice there. Um, that is right, that's cool, I like it. It's like very clear, so you're thinking, okay, is this gonna be super light? This is, in my wearing of the three fragrances, by far, on my skin, the most well-received of the three by the general public. This is a fragrance, if you're gonna start out with the house and you wanna get something that is gonna be giving you comp getting you compliments, that is gonna be getting well liked by people you're trying to attract, this is it. It's kind of got that feel of a Baccarat Rouge, maybe Cologne, where it's like this uh, very just sexy, I'll give you some of the notes, um, sexy, seductive, Sweet, but not cloying. I like this. So it goes a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. And the notes are blackcurrant, bergamot again, saffron, cognac, hedione, labdamon, green notes, 
white musk, ambroxan, cacao, and dark chocolate, right? This to me is an excellent, excellent, almost gourmand type fragrance that is, again, not too gourmand. This is like a great, how do I say it? It's like almost a great oriental slash gourmand. And it is, I'm going to tell you, I've worn it probably five times already. And each time I've worn it, I've gotten a compliment. Or four, I'm sorry, four out of the five times I've gotten a compliment so far uh, when someone has smelled this. So this already has kind of been my dumb reach as I've been trying out these fragrances and wearing them. Even though, like I said, as a niche lover, techno kind of really is my personal favorite. As a go-to everyday fragrance in your collection of an extreme high concentration quality fragrance, Hip Hop is a definite, definite winner. Um, I know it's extremely popular talking to Zernel uh, that this is, I think he said they're all pretty pretty much even when it comes to sales and, and what things are doing, but Hip Hop, I think, has got the slight edge here. And I, I can, you know, for me, it, it's pretty obvious. It, it, it has, it's the one of the three that goes, is more of that mass appealing, right? And if you want that, you gotta try it. I recommend trying all three. You can order samples on his website, by the way. I think he's also available on Lucky Scent and some other online stores. Uh, so he's just starting to get mass, uh, mass distributed. For a guy who started his fragrance brand just a couple years ago, it's unbelievable what he's gotten to already with this level. And I love supporting independent houses, new houses, guys who are passionate, guys who are just nice people and cool. Uh, Zernel is all of that. So if you wanna try something new and you wanna wear a fragrance that is not like all the other houses that everybody talks about in all their videos, try out Zernel Gilly. Again, um, what else am I gonna say? I really, really enjoyed this house so far. And I can't wait, by the way, his fourth, fourth release, which is gonna be coming out, is called House, for you know the music genre, the house music. And I smelled it. I smelled one of the iterations of it, and he said he's still gonna tweak it a little bit more, but it basically was done, and it's gonna be another big hit, I think. He's doing really well. He's selling tons of these, and he's getting into festivals, and it's just great success story. I'm so happy for him. All right, I'll be back soon with another video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. <sighs> Peace, love, and perfume.